A team of reporters scattered throughout the area and across the state covering every aspect of this historic night. Amanda Henderson kicks off our coverage at this hour from a polling place in Fort Bend County. How are things looking there, Amanda? Well, they're looking pretty consistent, and what I mean by that is from the time that we got here about an hour or so ago, this line behind us, it has been about the same size, if not any more people coming. So I've been talking and just observing what exactly is going on here. People are being patient. They're waiting their turn in line. It's moving at a pretty steady pace, but take a look at this video that we got a little bit earlier from our chopper. It shows you just from a bird's eye view how long the line is, but also how many people are now coming to vote. We are getting to the point where most people's days at work are starting to wind down. We're in that two hour window before the polls officially shut. But as you mentioned, as long as you're in line before 7 p.m., you will get a chance to vote. And talking with some of the voters out here who say this is important to them, no matter how long the line is, take a listen. I think it's very important to have your voice heard. And I think it's um, just a sad missed opportunity when people choose not to vote. And that's something that we have heard from several people out here is that they want to make sure people are going to have their voices heard through their votes. And there are a lot of polling centers, not only here in Richmond, but also in Harris County. And that is where we find KHOU 11's Orko Mana. He's at a West Gray multi-service center with an update on how things are going over there. Orko. Well, Amanda, we've seen a pretty consistent flow of people come here to this voting center on West Gray Street, and this is typically a pretty busy location. I do want to mention since the last time we were on air about 45 minutes ago, things have definitely picked up, but it's still not as crowded as it typically is on an election day. Now, earlier today, it was raining, so that definitely impacted some of the folks who came out here, but still that didn't stop several voters from coming to cast their ballots at the 700 polling locations across Harris County. And now that the weather has cleared up, even more people are showing up. Officials with the Harris County Elections Department tell me that as of 413 this afternoon, more than 230,000 people have voted in person on election day. Those who came to the West Gray Voting Center tell me things went off without a hitch. It's a very smooth process. How long would you say it took you? Uh, less than five minutes. That's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty smooth. Today it didn't look too bad, so I figured I'd pop in and there's really no wait. And the volunteers are doing a great job moving everyone through, so. Yeah, I was about to ask what it was like. But now that it is past five o'clock, we are expecting polling locations like this one to get a little busier as more people get off work and head to the polls. Again, as I mentioned in the past 30, 40 minutes, we have seen more cars drive in, more people walk into the building. Polling locations across Harris County, all of them will be open until seven o'clock. And again, as a reminder, if you are in line by seven, you will be allowed to vote. Reporting live in Houston tonight, Orco Amanda, KHOU 11 News. A busy night, Orco, thank you. Today there are some first-time voters, many of them on college campuses. Tyson Bragg joins us from the campus of Texas Southern University, where they're gearing up for a watch party tonight, Tracen. <laughs> That's right, that watch party actually opens its doors in about 10 minutes. We're going to head there in just a few minutes, but speaking about TSU's campus, it has been nothing but excitement here since we arrived. Take a look behind me. This bus just pulled up, and as it says, they are bringing people to the polls. Take a look behind me. Look at all these folks that they just brought to the polls, and they're going to be heading into that building, the Recreation Center. That is because that is where the polls are located here on campus. And let me tell you, we have arrived here. We arrived here about several hours ago, and since we got here, we've seen a steady flow of students making their way into that building, making sure that they get their vote heard and get their vote counted. I spoke to one woman who's worked in this area, working to inform young voters and get them to the polls for several years. And she says in terms of student engagement, this year stands out. I've seen a lot more inc excitement. Um, we were texting young folks, uh, folks that we've registered on this campus and across Houston. And usually I, we do text and you get some responses. And this year, like, people were like, yeah, where's my polling location? Like they were responding back, like, like asking questions, really wanting to get the information so they can get out and vote. 
Yeah, important information there. That woman, Shelly Baker, tells us that she actually voted here on campus. Again, a lot of excitement around here. The polls, of, clo of course, close at 7 p.m. And again, that watch party, oh yeah, it opens its doors in about 10 minutes. So we will be heading there next. I'll send it back to you all. All right, Trayson, thank you. Let's uh, switch gears.